you don't have to memorize this exactly. It's, there's these two super roles that define the principles for all languages. So basically, the, you know, Chomsky's idea is that all languages can be described using these two principles, right? And the first principle is that a phrase consists of an optional subject followed by an X bar. An X bar is basically a, a, a noun phrase or a, a verb phrase, right? Followed by any number of modifiers. So, so the, the X bar is that is that like that noun phrase with its its role players or the verb you know gave with its modifiers. That would be the, the the V bar or the the N bar, so the noun bar or the or the verb bar. And so every phrase consists then of an optional subject. We'll just leave out the optional subject for now. It has that has the has the head word and its role players. That's what we just saw, right? You know the verb. You know, gave and you know, his voters are surprised. That's the that's the the verb head with its role players, and then any and then followed by any number of modifiers. You can have a bunch of modifiers after that, right? That's a phrase, right? So that's how you're defining a phrase. So every phrase consists of those things, and they're 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 constructed in that way, okay? And then he says an X bar consists of a head word followed by an end role player. So that's the the second thing, right? And so that every all 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 phrases in all languages follow these two rules, right? That you've got uh, an X bar, a phrase consists of this X bar, an optional subject, X bar, and modifiers, and that every X bar has a head word followed by role players, right? And he says that that's common to all languages that you have this structure, right? So this is, these are the two super rules. Um, if you don't remember the exact super, I mean, he's got this crazy formula for describing it, don't worry about that, but just understand that there are these two super rules that define kind of the principles by which all languages construct their sentences. But then he says, well, within these super rules, there are some variations, and he calls the variations parameters. And the parameters are, if a language is head first, there will be prepositions. And then if a language is head last, there will be postpositions. So, so he said, you know, we, you know English is, is head first, so you've got the, you know, the governor of California, so the governor comes before of California, and you had gave comes before uh, the voters of surprise, and he says, well, there are some languages that are, are head last, right? So and, and an example is Japanese, where you don't say the governor of California, you say of California the governor, right? Uh, and instead of saying gave the voters a surprise, you say the, surpri the voter a surprise gave, right? So it has a different, different word order in which the head comes last, right? Uh, and that's something that can vary between languages. They could be head first or head last. But he says that if it's, if it's head last, then you'll also have post positions, which is to say instead of saying of California, you'll say California of, right? And, and instead of saying uh, after the election, you'd say the election after, right? And so, again, uh, you recall you, you, I said that the tree is not really a tree, or he says that it's actually a mobile where those things can, can turn. Right? And so, but, but they turn in a kind of consistent way. So that if it's head last, all, you also have the post positions. If it's head first, you'll have the prepositions, the prepositions. Right? Um, but basically, with these two super rules and then this, this sort of parameter rule, you've described all the different languages in the world. They'll all follow this schema with this, this one variation of, of the order. And then, obviously, then you'll have different words. I mean, the, the, you know, the vocabulary will be different. And there will be different ways, for instance, of marking case and stuff. So you know, if English marks case by word order, some languages will mark case by you know, having like, different forms of a particular noun. The noun will take different endings and things like that in order to mark the different cases. Right? So in any case, that's the overall structure in which he's, you know, he's, he's demonstrating that all the languages in the world um, adhere to these basic principles. Right? And so these structural principles of language then ultimately, and this is what you need to remember, that th these structural principles are universal and innate. That's the, that's the, the claim. Right? So children are born with the knowledge of these principles that make up the super rules of language. They don't have to be taught those super rules. Right? They naturally have those super rules. And then to learn a particular language, you just have to learn the specific parameters of that language, you know, head first or head last, and obviously the specific vocabulary of that language, right? And so you're, you know, so the, remember we had the, 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 the diagram, we had, you know, the, the universal grammar giving us these super rules and then kind of the culture giving you the particular vocabulary and these parameters and you end up with the language in the child, right? And that's the process then of, of language learning.
for, um, for Pinker and Chomsky.